Friday. Ugh, close the window. Hi. Hello. What's going on? Welcome back. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Anyway, hi. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my first official video that I'm doing. So please leave any feedback or comments you may have in the comment section below. Um, and just let me know. Uh, leave a thumbs up, whatever YouTubers say, all of that good jazz. So, uh, for today's video, I actually wanted to do a brand showcase. Um, it's a brand that I've been pretty interested in for the past, I want to say two years probably. And um, I've just started picking up pieces within the last year or so. It's actually my fourth time filming this video. Um, so here we are again, or here I am again. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. If you are, we made it. But here I am again filming this video. So let's get right into it. I don't want to, you know, keep talking. I've said this three different times. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, the brand I will be showcasing today is called Who Decides War by Everbato. Quick little side note, sorry about the shades. My actual glasses broke and um, I'm not trying to be Mr. Cool Guy. Uh, I actually can't see. So let's get right into it. So first piece is actually the most recent pickup. Um, this is from his fall winter 2020 collection uh, that he's been doing drops of like every two weeks, I think, something like that. Um, so I picked this up about a month ago, I wanna say. This is from the second drop, I believe. And yeah, it's this My Sacrifice is Killing Me t-shirt, uh, pixelated figurine, some name like that. It's a very long name. Uh, but yeah, it just seems to be this religious figure. And then they just have pixelated the face out, so you can't really see it. But it looks like some type of religious figure, maybe Jesus. There seems to be some type of animal in the background. Um, and then you got this person just holding up some stuff. I don't know, it looks cool. Bought it because of aesthetic. aesthetic. Um, and then on the back, it just has my sacrifice is killing me. Very, very nice collar. Um, distressing on the collar. But yeah, very nice collar. I usually like my collars to fit kind of tight, to be kind of thick, and this is kind of thin. But the way it sits on the neck is really nice. I think complements it well. I think when I wear chains around it, it looks good. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but other than that, nothing really. The center seam down the back, which is actually a really nice detail for a graphic t-shirt. Uh, so yeah, boxy fit, crop fit. Got that in a size extra large. I would say if it's true to size, I usually wear between a large and an XL. I'm 5'10", 5'11". Uh, for reference, if that helps. Uh, so yeah, next piece. I'm, I hope I'm not like blowing through these. For the second piece, we have, uh, I think this is Spring Summer 20, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I actually just picked this up a few weeks ago off of Forward, they had a sale going on. But yeah, anyway, it's this wool crew neck sweater with the American flag seemingly on fire in the middle, and then who decides war lettering uh, right underneath right underneath that. It's actually a wool blend. Um, I would say it fits a little slim. It, this is also an extra large. Um, I would say it, it, it's, it's in between a, a large and extra large. Um, so yeah, you'll see in the B-roll footage. It just fits slim. Both things are extra large. They both kind of have a different fit. I think in the B-roll I'm wearing the t-shirt actually underneath the crew neck. So that just goes to show you like, you know, how both pieces fit. Um, but I like it. It's a nice navy sweater. I didn't really have that color in my wardrobe anymore. Um, I'm, I love navy. I love like darker tones. Um, but I didn't have a navy sweater. And so I saw that. I wanted to get it earlier in the year, but I had so many sweaters, it just didn't really make sense to keep purchasing um, sweaters. And you don't really wear sweaters all the time. I don't really wear sweaters all the time. So um, I sold some things, then I saw this on sale on Forward, 
and just decided to pick it up. It's a nice little piece, a nice little, hmm, you know, uh, something that, uh, it's, just, it's just nice. I don't know, can't really describe it, but I like it. So, final piece, uh, big boy. Um, this is actually the first piece I picked up or that I wanted to pick up from Ev Rovato. Um, even though this technically isn't an Ev Rovato who decides war piece, it is a actually, it's actually a collab with um, Off White, Virgil Abloh. As seeing these, um, and firstly, I want to say what brought me to the brand or the creator, Ev Rovato, and his brand um, really is the denim. It's an interesting aesthetic. He has different fits but they all represent, I guess, his brand and his aesthetic um, really well. They're just intriguing fits. I'll probably try and put some pictures up so you can see what I'm saying. Um, but if you've, you know, looked into the brand new Bible, obviously seen the denim is very like DIY, very um, just different. They're a different pair of jeans. He makes a lot of standout. He makes a lot of standout jeans, um, which is very different than like I would say my own personal aesthetic, I usually go for, in general, more subtle clothing, subtle tones, um, darker hues, darker colors, blacks, navies, mm, grays, I like forest greens, I like, you know, stuff like that. Um, colors that don't exactly stand out, I just gravitate towards that, I think it's more wearable, I can wear that without, you know, people staring. But I would definitely say these stand out like a lot, um, which is so crazy because I, I wouldn't gravitate normally towards this, but there was something about this pair of denim that I was just like, gotta have these. So enough talking. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but again, who decides war? Everbato, Off-White, Virgil Abloh collab. That's a lot of words, I don't know if that was correct. But yeah, here they are. You guys can see everything. I'll definitely have B-roll footage laid in. Um, also, just quick, another quick side note, the B-roll footage, I'm wearing like a unique little t-shirt. That's not actually what I would wear with it. I'll probably wear like a little longer tee or a vintage t-shirt. I'll uh, lay some B-roll footage either on the side or over top of me talking so you guys don't have to see my face and just see the jeans. But yeah, I really love this pair of jeans, honestly. Um, definitely one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Um, probably my favorite pair of jeans, honestly. Um, and it's so different. It goes against my whole aesthetic again, like I was saying earlier. <clears throat> it's a very um, washed out, very bright blue um, pair of jeans that even without the embroidery or the rhinestones at the bottom, like I feel like this color of jeans, this color of denim stands out a lot. And that's something I would definitely not go to. Again, I would go to like a darker wash pair of jeans or a, you know, black pair of jeans. But these really stand out, it's a very, 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 very bright blue pair of jeans. And then over top of that, different color embroidery, just saying off all across throughout both pant legs. Just different colors, really, really nice embroidery. You have reds, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, pinks. There you go, like the rhinestones. That also say off at like the tail end as well as over top of the right thigh. Yeah. On a left thigh, the off is a little lower. There's no uh, rhinestones over top of that. But again, it's really the same embroidery, just a different placement, I guess. Just a little lower. Then you have the rhinestones at the bottom right here. Yeah, um, distressing at the back of the knee and at the front of the knee and also at the left thigh, which I'm not a fan of this one actually um, because depending on like what underwear I'm wearing, you can like 
obviously see it. Like the hole is really, really big. And I think I've also probably made it bigger, like putting my foot through the pants, which definitely doesn't help. Um, but yeah, and uh, oh, I'm also forgetting a very important detail. Uh, the stressing at the cuff, at the hem. I don't know if you guys can see that. Again, I'm gonna put B-roll footage so you guys can see. Then there's also a split hem on both sides, both legs, split hem. So it really sits over top of your sneakers well, kind of puddles, it, you know, sits over the sneaker, puddles, pools, whatever, you know, the kids are into. You guys know the silhouette. Uh, but it gives a, a, a really nice look to the jeans. Um, first story about the jeans, they're actually a size 38. I usually wear between a 34 to 36, um, but these were the last size on RSVP. So I just said whatever, copped the 38 and then took them to my tailor and got them tapered. So it's a little baggy, which you know, it's not that bad. I just put a belt on. Also, I'm just forgetting everything. They came with this this off-white shoestring that I guess we were supposed to tie around the waist. Definitely couldn't do that, they were way too big. So yeah, I just used them with a belt. Um, and they kind of sit like high-waisted jeans. I use them with a the belt, tie them up, and it, it looks fine. These are definitely like a pair of pants where like you stand out. So um, really haven't found a reason to wear them like unless I'm going to the grocery store. But nevertheless, really love uh, these. Uh, jeans, yeah, like they're definitely gonna be in my collection for a minute. I, I really can't say much more. Oh, I also forgot this though. Murder Bravado leather tag on the back. And then the yellow, or actually, excuse me, the neon green. Uh, Off-white tag on the front. I think all off-white jeans come with this. I'm not sure, this is actually my first off-white piece. A few thoughts on the brand. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm, I've been really interested in it for uh, the past few years and just to see the brand and Evrobato and his partner, um, just, just, to, just to see them grow um, as creators is really dope. Um, yeah, they, even though I wouldn't wear all the pieces, I'm definitely interested in all the pieces, if that makes sense. I kind of view it as like art at a certain point. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just really interested in it. I think it's definitely something worth investing in. Uh, the sweater and the t-shirt, I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of. Um, the pants, probably not, but I definitely like take them out of my closet and kind of stare at them like a weirdo. Every now and then, you know, uh, just for vibes. So yeah, I really like what they're doing. I think each collection is getting better and better. I think the quality is getting better and better uh, from what I've seen to, you know, the, what I've purchased. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If any of you were like looking for um, a review so you guys can pick something up. Uh, the quality is definitely on point. The sweater is important if that, you know, uh, matters to you. The sweater and the t-shirt I think are both imported. And then these jeans, since they were a collab with Off-White, were made in Italy. I don't know if that's important to you guys, but yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. We're definitely invested in bad. So, let me know what you guys think. I would definitely invest in the brand if you are interested in it, if you are inter interested in the aesthetic. I definitely think it's cool. I definitely think it was worth um, the money that I spent for it. Uh, the jeans were a little hefty, so I got those on sale. Um, so yeah, again, just let me know what you guys think. Hope this video turned out well. If you guys are seeing it, I probably just put it up. I don't know. Um, been very frustrated. YouTube is kind of hard. So anyway, enough about me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Oh yeah, subscribe. <laughs>